Hello, today we are looking at sizing up floor trimmers. To start with, we're going to have a look at an opening in a floor here. You can see uh, we've got a joist cut off with a trimmer across there to hold the load. This could be an opening in a stairwell or any other reason you might need a void in a floor. So let's start with a bit of terminology. We have the trimming joists that come down either side of the opening and those two take the load of the trimmer which goes across to create the opening in here and then of course the trimmed joist that comes in behind it they're the ones that are cut off you'll notice these three terms are very similar to each other trimmer trimming joist and trimmed joist it'd be nice if they were different from each other but it's important to understand which one you are talking about because the size of these comes out of the 1684 which we will go through in a minute now you'll notice that this opening here is less than a meter wide which means all of these joists and the trimmer and the trimming joists they can all be the same size as your normal floor joists that are sized up for this floor if we look at a different example and here we have an opening which is much bigger it's bigger than a meter but not bigger than three meters so an opening of this size you'll notice that the trimmer and the trimming joists are both thicker than the normal floor joists that are in between here and there is an actual ratio that we have to use that tells us how thick these have to be in order to take the extra load and that comes out of the 1684 and here's a little excerpt out of the 1684 that we're going to use for sizing these trimmers and the trimming joists so in here this is the line we're looking at trimmers between one and three meters in length shall have their breadth which is their thickness including the breadth of the trimming joist the one down the side increased by 20 percent for every 300 mil greater than the one meter so if that sounds a little bit confusing i'm going to go through that right now and explain what that means so where it says the part greater than a meter that means the first meter you get for free one meter long don't need to change anything so let's have a look at this example here from a different view we're going to have a look at this area so this is our trimmer coming across there and on either side is our trimming joist coming down beside the opening in this example this measures 1750 if we divide it up the first meter we don't need to worry about we only want to know the amounts that are after that first meter and we divide it up into 300 mil lots and you'll notice there's one bit that is only 150 remaining on the end we count that as another 300 because in this previous slide it says each 300 mil or part thereof which means any little bits are included as another part so in this example discounting that first meter we've got three extra lots of 300 or part of 300 remaining so each of those three sections is an extra 20 percent which means three lots of 20 percent that shows us we have to make our trimmer and our trimming joists 60 percent thicker than all of the other joists in this floor so let's make an example of a 50 mil thick joist for the rest of the flooring where you go times 0.6 that means our trimmer has to be 30 mil thicker so 50 plus our extra 30 means this trimmer has to be at least 80 mil thick and that's how you work out how thick this trimmer and these trimming joists have to be up to a meter long same size as all the others over a meter long each section of 300 or part thereof is another 20 percent thicker while we're here you might have the question what happens if our trimmer is longer than three meters long well that's this line here trimmers exceeding three meters shall be designed as bearers that means you have to go to a different span table and you can't call it a trimmer anymore it's got to be called a bearer and you size it using a different table thank you for your time and good luck